excuse me? Hey, um, are you okay? This mission is all about the paranormal, and I'm a chicken, so I called in some backup. <laughs> I decided to take two of my favorite people to spend one night with me in the Queen Mary. This 1930s cruise ship is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the U.S., and we got to go find out for ourselves whether or not we believed it. So right now we're on level <laughs> two of the boat, and we're gonna have so much fun! The Queen Mary is one and a half times the size of the Titanic, and it has 314 rooms. This is our room that we're staying in, and supposedly it's haunted. It's M101, and it's the Eisenhower Suite. <gasps> Let's go inside. About to go down tonight. <laughs> okay, this is our luxury suite. Look, we have a little tiny um, bedroom slash um, torture chamber. And this is the rest of our creepy room. Haunted, who spooky room. Um, Shane's on the internet because he's just so freaked out by all the ghosts. Ready? <laughs> so cool. After checking in, we went down into the engine room of the ship for this haunted encounters paranormal tour. And that's when our evening got a whole lot more interesting. It's like someone got murdered here. See that? It's not red paint. It's blood. See it? It's all the walls. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> the part of the tour I hated the most was the first class swimming pool because it was downright creepy. And uh, just once again, getting back to the little girl that I mentioned to you guys about. Now she is one that has become quite popular also. And what we've been told is that her name is Jackie. She's supposed to be about five or six years old. And well, they say that she had drowned in the second class swimming pool, but because it's no longer there, then she tends to wander. And then of course, mainly hang out in this area here. You guys want to go for a swim? <laughs> After the tour was done, we decided to do some investigating of our own. This boat is freaking haunted. In 1948, Walter J. Adamson was found dead in room B226, which is now room B340. And because of a bunch of unexplainable events that happened in the room, needless to say, it's no longer available for you to stay in. All night long, lights flickered and papers moved, and we were just ready to get breakfast and get the heck out of there. And now we have a question for you guys. What's the creepiest, scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Leave us a comment and video response to let us know. And someone is gonna win a t-shirt signed by Shane, Joe, and I. Mission accomplished. 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 Mission acc